All right, everybody, just want to thank everybody for being here this morning. You're in for a real treat. Uh, but first thing, I just want to help uh, introduce, or I just want to introduce somebody who, you know, assisted in putting on the webinar for us today. Uh, it's Janet, Janet Larson from the Real Estate Mavericks. And Janet's been supporting real estate professionals for over six years, formerly a top producer in title, in the title industry, and then she headed to the marketing division for the number one title agency in Maricopa County. Today, she is the vice president of a real of the Real Estate Mavericks, America's number one real estate agent coaching program. And Janet is recognized in the industry as a dynamic professional who's always on the cutting edge of what's new and what's best. Let me introduce you to my former colleague and still friend, uh, Janet Larson. So, Janet, I just want to thank you for being here today. And uh, everything I just said is true. I used to work together and used to kick my butt all over the place. So thanks for being here. <laughs> well, you got to do something good, right, Dave? That's so, right. Thank I, you so I learned very a lot much. From you. Thank you. Well, and likewise, I learned uh, even more from you. So thank you so much for allowing me to be here with you today. And yes, I have the privilege of being the vice president of Real Estate Mavericks, a one-year-old company, uh, working with the number one listing authority in the North America. His name is Greg Haig. And uh, together, we are changing the tides of how real estate is sold. So we're bringing an innovative Apple Advanced selling formula to real estate to revolutionize an industry that's been stuck in a 75-year-old process of the same old, same old. So we are working closely with agents all over North America, in Australia, Singapore, China now, to uh, help them embrace an Apple Advanced selling process to help your sellers net more. So we are a stand-apart company looking to develop stand-apart agents on the listing side, and our highest priority, ladies and gentlemen, is to help you bring a superior level of service to your sellers. And in that, you're going to help them net more money. What's in it for you is a greater commission. So thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity to share that with your uh, crowd here today, Dave. And I can be reached at Janet at realestatemavericks.com or 480-720-0205. I'll send you our Forbes featured article that brings this process to light all across North America, now published in Huffington Post in 220 publications. Don't be the last to know. So with that, I'm going to turn your webinar presentation over to these uh, two remarkable professionals, Dave Mason and his special guest, Patty Sampson, today. And of course, I'll just reiterate what you probably already know. That's why you're here today. Lead generation matters, and it only matters if you can convert those to sales. And we want to be the icing on the cake to help you bring a superior process to serve more sellers better. So I'm anxious to listen into uh, Patty's brilliant presentation today, and to thank you both for having me with you. Well, thank you, Janet. I, Thanks, it's always great to hear from you. And uh, let me just mute Janet. Okay, so. Uh, I'm very honored. I'm, I'm excited to have Patty with us here today. Patty's actually probably the most knowledgeable person I've ever sat down and had a conversation with about lead generation and lead, nurt lead nurturing. Um, a little bit about me real quick is I'm, my name's Dave Mason. I'm one of the owners of I Found Agent, and uh, I was a real estate agent for 12 years. Um, but I was probably a geek first. Uh, back in 1989, at least I was told I was one of the first people to use a computer at Realty Executives, and I built a very archaic database platform to stay in touch with people. So this was before you could go to the title company and get the disk. I had to go out in my car on foot to gather the addresses and put them in my database. And I had this very simple postcard mailing system, which at the time, everyone told me, especially the old guys in the office, you can't do that. You need to send a letter. That's unprofessional. But I did it anyway. So then I picked up uh, the plaque you see there, you know, two years later. So, you know, I did learn a simple lesson that, you know, you have to have a process and it has to be duplicatable, re repeatable, and simple. So that's what we're going to hear today. Uh, Patty is uh, somebody I know, but she's also a, a client. She's she's a real estate agent currently with uh, West USA Realty. She's the team leader. And uh, why don't you tell us about your background and, you know, what you 
you know, why you're here and what you, you know, what you want to share with us today. Well, hi, everybody. Thank you for having me, Dave. I really appreciate it. And Janet, thank you for sponsoring the event today. Um, yeah, why am I here? You know, I, I don't, I, I get asked a lot about internet lead conversion and things like that. And um, it's because I believe in it. That's the reason. Um, internet lead conversion and uh, getting business online is pretty much what I've done in my whole career. Uh, just a brief background about me and why I'm here so that you can understand, you know, why this makes sense for me to tell you what I'm doing. First of all, I, I, uh, I spent 17 years in the legal field as a paralegal working for attorneys. And one day I woke up and said, I'm going to shoot myself if I have to sit here one more minute pushing paper from right to left. Uh, pretty much uh, decided I was going to break free. And with two uh, children at home, teenagers, single mother, decided to get into real estate and everyone thought I was crazy. Uh, and th my story is, is that it was the best thing I ever did. Um, was it was it tough? Sure it was. I mean, I was trying to support a home in Scottsdale uh, and uh, quit my job cold turkey to go into a fully commissioned job. And uh, that was scary. There's no doubt about it. Um, I ended up working at a company uh, that provided me uh, leads online, like hundreds and of hundreds of leads online a month. Um, was it good? Sure, it was great. Was it the best in the world? Uh, no, it really wasn't because I got so many leads and I was paying my company 65% of everything I was doing. So in order to stay on top of all of that, it was really hard to do and to be able to do it on my own without assistance. Um, I will say my first year with that company, I think I sold about 45 homes, mostly working for buyers. And so what it, when you're getting that many leads, it really boils down to what are you, what are you gonna do to get people engaged with you at, as fast as possible so you're not you know, wasting your time, you got an hour to prospect in the morning and the rest of your day you've gotta be out on the road and then you get up in the morning and you start it all over again. So I, I tried really hard to find the, the, the best uh, techniques and tools uh, to be able to do it. Now luckily the company had tools in place and this was one of the first companies that I had ever been at that had anything like that uh, in place like that. I mean, I, I had everything I needed and they will give them that. They did teach me the best way to, to manage that. So anyway, um, the reason I'm here today is that when I, when I woke up one day and realized I'd given my company about a half a million dollars in my commissions, uh, after about seven years working there, I realized I, I've got to figure out a way to do this on my own. I mean, honestly, I left the company and um, I, it actually was a rude awakening because although I've never been addicted to drugs, I always tell people you kind of like look at it as being addicted to drugs when you're getting leads from your company. Not to say that it's always a bad thing, but don't leave all of your business in the hands of your company because when you leave, where, you, where are you? I basically walked away with nothing. And I had about 4,000 leads in my database at that point. And I, I had to leave them all. Um, but that was, that was in, the, in the idea that I wanted to leave and figure out how I was going to be able to do this on, on my own. And, and ever since then, I've been trying to find that agent in a box tool, the tool that will provide me everything I need to be able to get my own business online and not pay my company 65% of everything I did. So there, that, hence, that's why I'm here. I, I've been on a journey since I left in 2010 from that company, trying to find the tools and um, it's finally happening. And it, the excitement about that, I can't even tell you. So anyway, so I wanna share it. That's the great thing is that as a team, as a team leader, this isn't necessarily about me recruiting, although if you have an interest, you can you can call me. But it really is about sharing it because um, of you know the 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 amount of people who start their search online. So it's important we should be there. So so you have so you have a team and you've worked with a lot of agents. What what do you say right now is is missing for people or missing for agents? Where it's just like. It's just not coming together. People are confused. I see it all the time. They just don't know what to do. They're oh, like you had you had a problem at your previous. You were just swimming in leads, which can sound like a good thing, but it's really not. It's overwhelmed. So unless you have a way to organize that, you're you're kind of dead in the water. It really was. I mean, it, it was a weird problem to have. You're probably all sitting here going, "Oh, poor Patty. She had a hundred leads a month coming in." But the reality was, is in the, in the world I was in. 
it was it was overwhelming. Um, and so I think what's missing is what how do we do this on our own? That that was it. And for most of us who've been on that journey to try to find it, we're we're being told go get a website. Okay, now that you have a website, you got to go get a CRM so that if you do get leads. You got to get them in. But the problem is, is that as agents, we don't get that, okay, we have a website. Okay, now how do we get people there? That, that's a big thing because the CRM isn't going to mean anything unless we are getting people to the site, right? So that, that's the key. I mean, most of us don't have the tools, the knowledge, the experience, the time to, to figure out how to do that. And uh, so when you piecemeal it all together, it, it's, it's hard, you know, because you're hearing what's good, what's not good. Some, pre some people tell you go over there and do that. No, you got to go over there and do that. I mean, I was on a forum this morning about the best CRM tools out there. You know, it's just, there's a ton of information, a ton of technology, but you don't know where to start. So that's, that's what's tough is who's, who's guiding you through that. So what, what, what have you tried in the past? I mean, I get that you've tried a lot of things. I probably don't even know them all. We've talked about it. But what have you tried in the past that, that hasn't worked? Well, first of all, my, my first thing when I got away from that company who not only provided me the website to produce the leads, they did all the marketing, they you know, gave me the CRM tools, they gave me all of the drip mail and all that kind of stuff. Um, but the first thing was uh, trying to find the right website. And that, that and, and is, was really the truth because I knew if I wanted to get online, I had to be seen. However, how am I going to be seen on page one? You know, if I'm doing a superlative, not, and nothing against that, but I'm saying many of us started out with superlative. I did. I, I thought, well, I just need somewhere for someone to go run a search so that they can, you know, and they're going to find me because I'm so great, you know, and no, it didn't work that way. First of all, those kind of sites that are template type sites, which took me some time to figure out was all I'm doing is helping that site out. And if I stop paying, I lose that and I get nothing out of it. It's, it's not mine. It's a template and it doesn't do one bit of good for anything I want to do online to be seen organically. And uh, so, you know, the, that's the challenge is, you know, finding, finding the right site. So that's what I did. I'm trying to find the site. Now that I'm getting the site, what, what am I going to do and how am I going to get it seen? You know, and that was tough. So the next thing I'm doing, failing at paper clicking, trying to do a, my own paper click campaign. Not to say it doesn't work, but if you've got knowledge on how to do it, but I had no clue. And I spent a lot of money trying trying to pay for click, and that didn't work either. So then, of course, you know, referral business is always the best way. And I'm not, I mean, we can hit that home all day long, and we'll talk a little bit about that in a little while, but referrals is the way to go. But how do you keep your referral database engaged? What well, are you I, doing? I can, I can tell you. Uh, I'm sorry. I can tell you as a former agent, nothing worse than driving down the street of, and seeing a house that you sold with somebody else's sign on it. What? And that's that's on me. I did not I did not keep in touch. So. Horrible. Um, you, and, and I'll be the first to admit. I mean, I'm I'm here to swear to you. I was horrible at that because yep. I was just too busy about trying to find my next business. You know, and we get in this cycle where we're going like this, where we're so busy communicating, communicating, and trying to market, and then we get so, then we actually do get business, and we're out on the road, right? And we're running around, and because I was mostly a buyer's agent, because that's what happens online, you know, I mean, I'm scrambling, trying to do everything, right? Um, so then I decided I was going to go to the internet, so, um, and, 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 and really just start to, figure out what it is about the internet that I need to know so that I can hit home. I just tell this analogy. If I have two seconds, I tell you, it's so funny. So at the time, of course, you know, I was divorced. I had children at home and I started to, uh, I was working online, working in internet business online as I was leaving that company. And um, I started, uh, believe it or not, I'll tell you the truth. I started on a uh, match site online to find uh, someone to hang out with, basically. <laughs> I guess a dating site, for sure, lack of a better term. I'm is. not going to name names of the site. Anyway, the funny part about that was, is I realized after doing that, I was not only working my internet lead business online, but now I'm like trying to find somebody. And by the way, the story ends wonderfully, but I'm trying to find somebody. But what I realized was the difference between what I was doing was nothing other than the conversation. What I was trying to do is actually engage the people online no matter what. And all I needed to do was figure out what they wanted to hear, right? 
And of course, I wasn't going to lie, but I, I was going to figure out what they wanted to hear and what what were they interested in. And that's where I was going to hit home. So I decided that I was going to um, focus on that. And when I did that, I got I became successful. Like I'm going to send them information that they need. I'm not going to talk about how great I am. Now, I could have done that over here at the boyfriend site, you know, but I didn't. I actually talked about the things that that were interesting to them. And when I did that, they came to me and they and then it actually attracted the people that I wanted to be around. So that was good, too. So, uh, so you know, any, the long story short is I, I did marry my husband 10 years ago off of a dating website and the story ends great. But and I and I sold hundreds and hundreds of homes and helped agents with their with this business as well because i'm very passionate about it too so anyway i, I just tell that story because there's it's really about what are you going to do to get them engaged with you you've got to do something and all i want to know is what's in it for me right now right most guys in my world is like is like that what's in it for me <laughs> no offense guys on the, on here but it is you know and you should all be thinking that so, so what, what i hear you pointing to is it's like an intention or there's a context that you have to get to. I've talked to a lot of agents. I get a lot of leads. You know, I, I called this one and they're not interested. And then that's the last that happened. That's the last time that lead gets, gets touched or it's a bad lead. Well, I don't think there really are bad leads. I mean, for me, I've had people in my database as an agent. They were in my database for seven years before I got anything. So you have to right. you have to realize that you know it, it's it's. I think we can get caught up in being an instant gratification business. It's great to get those commission checks from the title company. I'll admit I kind of miss getting those. So what Patty's pointing to really is a it's a context, but there's an intention behind it too to to have an experience for you know the person on the other end of it. So if you don't mind, that's I think that's what people want to hear about. I, I want to hear about that. Right. So well, let me, let, let me, I did, I pulled the screen up because I do a lot of teaching at my company and at my, bro, at my, um, for my team. And because most of what my team does is internet business, I, I went out and did some research about this. So I thought I might share this screen with you if it's okay. A few interesting facts that we may or may not know about internet leads. Number one is we, and this is from NAR, 93% of people start their home search on the internet. So if you're not starting there, you're, I mean, if you're not there, you're, you're missing out. I mean, you're missing out because that's where they're going. Um, what we also know is that 48% of agents won't respond to the leads when they get them. And that's kind of scary. And if they do, it's taking up to two days to respond. Now, in this day and age, especially with the millennials, they want answers yesterday. I mean, if you wait around, I mean, you're, you've lost them. You've, you've lost them. So if you don't, if you're going to dive into the internet business, then you have to be prepared to respond. And um, that's the, going to be the big key. Are you going to be able to automate? Are you going to be able to hire people? You know, what is that? If you're going to do it, you got to have a plan in place. Otherwise, don't waste your money. Um, and studies show that consumers will work with the agent who responds first. Um, I've heard all different numbers, but NAR says 66% of people will work with that person who responds first. So what does that mean for you out there? who are relatively new to real estate and you don't have any experience. If you're just a first responder, you've already won them over. I mean, really, if you respond fast, they're going to love you and then hopefully stay with working with you. Right. And then the last thing we know about internet leads is that an average agent, and that's average, might close three to 5% of their leads. So what does that mean? I mean, the problem with this is that agents will go, well, that stinks. You know, I mean, in my world, because I do a lot of training on this, it's amazing how many people I hear the word sucks, the internet leads suck, and I'm sure many of you have heard that. You know, the reality is once you know the average, because you cannot assume what the consumers are really doing and thinking when they come online. And, and unfortunately, we just think, oh, they're getting online, they're going to buy tomorrow. No, it doesn't work like that. So the reality is, is that the leads don't really suck. It's our follow-up. It's what we do that sucks. And if we did a better job at that, we would probably be way better at this. And so, but knowing that the average agent, and this is somebody with some knowledge about how to do it, might be doing three to 5%. The, the people that don't have any knowledge, are, it, you know, if you had 100 leads, they might be lucky and close one of those. Because the mentality is this, I make a call, and if that call, or if they don't pick up, right? Uh oh, that, that lead sucks, I'm moving on. You know, and I ask this of my classes all the time, 
well, how long are you going to be in, how are you going to be working with that lead or trying to get that lead to communicate with you before you decide the lead is bad? What do you think, Dave? <laughs> what do you think the average answer to that is? I I would assume immediately, like you know, people we make assumptions by how they sound or what they we just automatic. I don't know. I would think right away, it could be quickly. A lot of people will think immediately. If they don't reach them on the phone, they're going to say the lead stinks, and many of them won't do any follow-up, not at all. But what we do know is that most people don't, especially for a purchase like this, you're not going to get online in two seconds and then just automatically just get them in the car. car. And Sometimes it happens that way, and I have had that happen, but very, very, very rarely. Yeah. So in my world, I'm telling my agents, do not call, call a lead dead until that lead tells you to stop. But here's the problem. You, if you're not doing anything at all, like not doing follow-up calls, not sending texts, not having a drip campaign in place, not sending them listing notifications, you've pretty much lost your opportunity because you've got to assume that they are going to reach you at some point, but only if you're doing stuff. If you're not doing anything, it's never going to happen, right? So it's really, it's really important. It's just really important. So I would love to see, and I bet everybody else would love to see, when you get the lead, then what do you do? What next? What happens after that? Okay. I, I see a well, funnel there, so I think we're going to yeah, find out. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll talk about that. I mean, I'm going to I'm going to hit that home a lot because honestly, if, if you're if you really are thinking about doing this, you've got to have a plan in place. You get it in place because you want to have the follow up and you want to be able to do all those things that are get, going to get people engaged. So um, Dave asked me to come on and kind of show a little bit about what it is that I do. Uh, I'm going to talk briefly about lead generation. We, this is not like a, a class. <laughs> we are actually trying to put together a, a live human class that you can all come to if you're here in Arizona watching this, which most of us are, I think, um, in the metro area of Phoenix. Uh, we'll put together a live class and we can even do a little more of this, but just briefly go through what it is that I'm doing now, knowing uh, the stuff I've gone through to try to make it better. So it's one thing, lead generation. And then, okay, that's one thing. Now you got leads. Now how are you going to convert them, all right? What are you going to do? And how are you going to follow up? And how are you going to be the uh, end-all, be-all to your clients online? It's hard. It's really hard. So um, what I'm going to do is kind of show you where I'm at and what I'm doing now. And I will tell you that through the years, I've gotten leads from different ways. Um, I have had my website, and I'm, I'm not kidding you, I've had my website with uh, iFoundAgent um, for, oh, I would say maybe about, uh, what, four months, three, four months, um, yeah. but it hasn't been until recently that we've had the time to really start working and, and growing this, and I'm, I'm telling you the surprise I have from what's gone on in, in our uh, in our, just our little bit that we've been doing in a short period of time, knowing that what we're doing is going to actually create more business for us in a year because it's not a site that's owned by anybody else. And, and I'll be able to actually build organic Google juice from doing what we're doing. So I'm going to um, actually switch over to my website really quick and just show you. And please tell me if you have any issues and you can't see what's going on over here, okay? Um, let's see. Leave that to me. Okay. First of all, oops, I'm going to go, can you see my website? Yep. Okay. I'm just going over to my website. Yeah, this is an iFound agent site. Um, I, like I said, I've been on a hunt for a long time trying to find the tools that are going to make, make it work for me. You always want to have a site that's going to allow people to run a search. And nowadays, you want to have the what's my home worth tool, which we have on here. And you're going to see how I've used this. And how I got within one week, I got 10 leads off of this from $50 I spent. Uh, and all I need to do is close it, close one deal, and I paid for it for the rest of my days, right, out of those leads. But we'll get to that in a sec. So um, basically, the first thing we're going to talk about is like lead generate. This site is so cool because not only can I use it for lead generation, but I can use it for lead follow up. And the follow up part of this is really where the key is because. Sure, you're getting leads off of it. Now you got to do the follow-up and try to automate it. I cannot, I can't even tell you how invaluable this is because everything I need to do will occur on this site and all the tools that are going to, and so it, it, I don't need to go anywhere else, but at the same time, I don't need, uh, I mean, it's actually building value on, on Google, on all of the search engines, all the work that I'm doing. So, um, 
So basically, let's just go really quickly to give you an idea of what I do. If you look on my internet, on my page, I've got all this stuff. I got areas and down here, and you can do this too. I mean, that's that's easy. Really, where the power comes is in the blogging that we do. So, what, if you go up to my blogs here, I've got a whole bunch of blogs that I've written about all different types of things. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to like you can click on any of these and view them. And these blogs are the things that people will see. So what I'm doing um, is I'm gonna just show you briefly how fast I can write a blog and what I'm putting in it so that you can then send it to people or post it in places, right? So or um, or content for or sending a search to somebody that came in as a lead. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So um, I'm going to go to the back, my back dashboard. This is my back dashboard of my site. And this, the post is where the blogs are. And there are pages you can do too. <clears throat> Excuse me. But right now I'm just going to show you the post because this is what we're working on all the time. So I'm going to quickly just post, uh, do a quick post. I'm going to do a new one really quick. Let me just tell you, if you're not tech savvy, it, this is not hard. I mean, I'm just... I hopefully don't look it, but I'm 53 years old, right? I, I honestly, you wouldn't think that, you know, I mean, I didn't grow up with this, you know, so I'm learning it. Um, I'm going to do a search, let's see, four bedroom homes in Desert Ridge, because maybe I want to focus on that today. Um, and I would also met, recommend homes, uh, four bedroom homes for sale. Hold on. I've got this up on a, on a thing. I don't know if you can see me, uh, but I've got this up on a big, big thing here, so I'm having a hard time typing. Bridge. Okay. Um, so what I might do, actually, is uh, just write in here. I, I could do, you know, the average blog they're saying should be like three to 400 words. I, I'm not feeling I need to do that because this is a blog that I'm just going to send out uh, post somewhere. I'm just, I don't want everyone to have to get on here and read everything under the sun. So quickly, I'm just going to do a quickie. Um, here are today's uh, active listings in Desert Ridge in Phoenix, Arizona. And you could do, you know, whatever you want basically on this. Um, and then I can't even tell you how cool this tool is. Over here, I've got a button here that I can click on that will actually create the search really fast. I'm going to go active listings. And I'm going to just go down to the subdivision and type in Desert Ridge. And this actually is our proprietary technology uh, in Phoenix. It's with Armless, Tucson, Tarmless, uh, Prescott. It's with Par. Mm -hmm. Now, if I wanted to add anything more in here, I could. Uh, there's extra criteria here. I could go in and say, oh, I want it to be whatever. Um, cool. And I'll show you here in a minute something else I could do. But right now, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, create, the, create the search link really quick for it. So when I did that, it actually built this code right here. And if I click the preview really fast, you'll be able to see what it looks like. And, uh, and literally, this is it. Here's today's active listings in Desert Ridge, and then it actually pulls up a map of everything, and then they're all listed down here. And they, the person can come in here and or sort it in any order they want to. So it's really cool because it's instantaneous. Now, like I said, I'm 53 years old, and I'm just saying this did not take not much brain power because I don't have much left at my age, right? So it honestly worked so fast. All right, so now um, I can also put a photo in here if I wanted to. <laughs> so I have, let me just go in here. I'll add some media. I got some team members on here and stuff. I, I, it's Desert Ridge, but uh, right now let's just put this in here. I, I just want to add something just to show you how quickly and easy it is to do this and put a photo in so you have something nice to look at beyond, beyond that. So now I can publish this. Now, when, when I do that, now I have the active link, and I can just show you what that what that looks like. Um, if I go up here and just view the post really fast, you'll be able to see the post and the photo and everything in here, right? So you can make this all you want. So if you want to have a whole thing on, you know, the whole Desert Ridge area and write a whole big blog and everything on it, yeah, that's the way I would say to do it. Put in some videos, do some other stuff, and oh, by the way, here's some homes, right? Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to go back. Now actually, what am I going to do? Actually, a couple other things just happened right right when you did that. So, you know, for an agent, you, you just made a piece of content that can be found in the search engines. And you also just sent this out to social media. This all happened, like, in less than two minutes. So it's very quick. Right. If you look right here, 
if you look right here, I have this thing already automatically set up to publicize on my Facebook right here. So it's publicizing as it as I'm doing it. So it's going on Twitter, on my LinkedIn, and all of that, and um, it should should go over there pretty quickly. But uh, the other thing, and and actually, let me let me just go over really quick and see how fast it does happen. I'm not sure to be honest with you. Oh yeah, so. It's coming in. There it is. That was it. I, that's all I had to do. It did it automatically. Now, what's cool about this is that if you know anything about Facebook, and this is a whole other class in itself, but you could take this thing and actually go and um, and post uh, and boost it. I can, you know, if you if you put this on your business page, uh, you can boost it and then get it outside of your world. And I would also tell you that if you're going to do anything like this, some of these you have an option of who's going to see this. You're going to want to make sure that the whole public sees it, okay? Not just your little world. And so when you post, when you go in and set up all the settings, you want to do that. Oops. So um, just plan, just plan to post it to the public instead of just your world. In this case, then you can also pay to pay to post ads, and that's a whole other class in itself. Okay. So now let's say this. I got a lead. Let's say I get a lead off of it, and um, the lead then, you know, says, I, you know, I. I they just clicked on something in here and said contact the agent. So if you if you click on this, they can contact the agent and all that on here, right? So uh, they can just click up here and get a hold of me, and and they can also save the search and modify it. So if I was to just click on it, let's say they like this house, they click on this house. From here, they can schedule a showing. Um, they can check with the payment, all this stuff, save this home, do this stuff. They can actually edit this search, which is so cool because. If you sent your clients listings from the MLS, they wouldn't be able to do that. They can't, they can't edit the search, right? So what I'm going to do is show you now. I get a lead off of somebody who does that. Now what am I going to do? I want to send them updated listing notifications of everything in Desert Ridge that they want, right? I don't know because I haven't spoken to them. They were one of those people that I called and they didn't pick up the phone. Well, guess what I'm going to do? I got their email because they said they were interested in Desert Ridge, right? That's all I have. So what am I going to do? I'm going to actually send this off and have it go daily to these people. Now, I just clicked a button that will take me over to Lion Desk, which is the CRM tool that is, is connected that we are working with. And this is such an awesome tool, I'm telling you. So what it did was it, pre it built me an immediate email here that I can use and send out to send out on a daily basis to these people. Now, I can also go in here and, um, and uh, make this thing a little bit more um, uh, specific to somebody, right? So I, I can just add their name in here. And now I want to find or I want to add a new contact. Well, the contact might have come in through this because anytime I get a lead, it comes straight in here. So let's just put me in here as a test really quick. So I am the, the Patty fake login here, right? And I'm going to send this to them. It built up a, a, a <coughs> subject line, which, by the way, is a whole class in itself. I'm actually going to copy and paste this in here so it'll put the name in here automatically. Or I could just type, type their name in, right? So you can also have pre-made letters in here that you might want to use all the time. And I actually like this one that I wrote. And then I can insert the link here if I want to. So I, use, I do that. But here's the cool part. All right, so I'm just going to send this out to this lead, right? I can go up here now and say schedule for later or schedule it to go to them more than once. So what will happen is if you read the letter, it says, I hope you're enjoying receiving our daily emails below the link to property listings, blah, blah, blah. They're going to get it as often as I want them to get it. And so I might say I want them to get it every three days or every day, you know, and they're going to get new updates. So I'll just put every two days. And I want it to start today. And I want it to go on until a certain time. Now, in my world, I'm telling my people, put this out there for six months. I, and I don't care whether I spoke to them or not, because they got online, they asked for help. I'm sending it out for six months. I'm just going to put up, I don't know if that's six months, but whatever. I'm saying, I want this to go every two days for six months, <laughs> pretty much. And then, I see, I can also tell them what time should I send it. Well, I don't want to send it at 3 in the morning. I want them to know I'm physically doing this. So I'm actually going to go to 10 o'clock, and there's 10 a.m., there's a, a little science to that, but uh, partly because by then they've already read all their emails in the morning and deleted all the crap they don't want, right? Now, 
what they're seeing is stuff coming in after that time. This is a whole nother class too. So uh, schedule and save recurring email, right? So now it's going. Now that person, that lead in the system, if I go over here and check Patty's con, Patty, fake Patty, I'm gonna go over here. Now I'm in my CRM, right? These are all my leads that have come in, right? I'm over in my CRM. I'm just gonna run a search, find me. I think I was Patty fake login. Is that who I was? Yeah. So, um, so here we are, right? I'm within this thing. Now I've done some work in this file, by the way, so you're seeing some other things that are going on. But basically, I, it's tracking everything that's, that I'm doing, everything here. Here it is, 310. It's being sent out. It's sent out because I told it to go at 10, and it's already 1030, so it already went. The other thing that's cool about this right here is that if I wanted to do a quick follow-up with this person uh, and just make sure that they got it, I could send them a text right out of here. And I could say, hey, hey, it's Patty. Uh, hey, I could go, hi, Patty. It's Patty, because I am her. Uh, I just said, yeah, I just sent you an email. Did you get it? Something like that. Okay, excuse my typing. I'm going to send text. Now I just text that person at the same time, right? And it will, and if Patty gets back to me, the, my client, and texts me back, here it is, that, by the way, and I, if I had time right now, I would text myself back. But I just received a text because I am in here. I just got a text back from this, and I could text it back. And when I text it back, it's going to build up in here. It's going to it's going to keep track of every bit of conversation. So um, I can't. Be, I I mean, this is <laughs> this is so cool. Now I also might want to say I want to turn on a buyer campaign. So I go down here in my buyer campaign that I already wrote, and I'm going to turn that on, on top of it which the campaign actually uh, will market to them. And I'll just show you briefly what, the, what it looks like and just kind of show you what my buyer campaign looks like. I got a bunch of emails in here that are going to go out over a time frame, right? So I just set it to turn on and they're getting my mobile app. They're getting the buyer advisory. They're getting all kinds of fun stuff. So um, anyway, I've been talking like crazy. Any questions? Does anybody have any yet? Anything? I'm monitoring the question board, so if you have a question, just type it in and I'll, I'll, I'll read yeah, it. Yeah, if you have any questions, you can. So anyway, so that is how, that's it. I mean, I've, autom I've just basically automated everything I need to do. I'm also going to probably send myself a reminder for Patty to get back, for that client to get, to make another call to them tomorrow if I forget, you know, um, and, and it will come to me in a text and an email, so that's that's really cool. So. Uh, I can go in here and set the reminders and the tasks and things that I want to tell myself to do, which is really nice. And I can go in here and turn on campaigns and do all kinds of stuff out of here. So that's really nice. I've automated it. So now my goal, and I always love to do this, my goal is to go in here and show you my email box. Can you see my email? Um, if I go into my inbox, and I just want to show you, by the way, uh, what's my homework tool? Uh, I'm getting... Notice these are people that are blog. This was just the other day. I, I paid twenty dollars on Facebook to put an ad in, and I'm getting I'm getting leads from it off my inbox. And this is literally over two weeks of advertising. This is all of what's my home worth uh, leads coming in here, right? And the other thing that's really cool is my Lion Desk updates. I get an update every single day of who's looking at my stuff. Now I also have a huge database full of people looking for lots. So this is the email that came in this morning that's telling me who's looking at my stuff. This person opened it up and they're looking at stuff. And what are they looking at? I can see they clicked on this. What's the, you know, this is my Phoenix area map. What this, they looked at this. What is this saying to me about these leads? It's, it's telling me that they're hot. They're looking at my stuff for cry eye. So wouldn't it make sense for me to make another follow-up call to some of these people? Look at all the people that are looking at my stuff. I mean, it is, I, I just can't even tell you how important it is to set everything up. They're getting it automatically. I am not touching it. I turn it on once. I don't touch it. It goes. They call me. They write me. Um, and it happens. So um, that just is the, the circle. Now, you know, what are you going to do once you get the lead, you know, and the cultivating? And that, that's going to be up to you. That's one thing I can't teach you. And I always tell my agents this. I can't give you a personality. you got to have one. So, I, do, I do have a question that just came in from Mark, yeah. Mark Snyder. How, how, are you, how are you driving traffic to your website? Good question. Um, I am taking these blogs right here, right? 
and it's getting driven through that Facebook ad that got up. Um, I'm also doing another thing. I've got another tool in place that I'm using that is going to be rolling out, I think, uh, uh, soon um, uh, with the social media company. And we'll talk more about that at our classes, that we are posting stuff on social media through uh, automatically, through uh, autom automatically. So we'll do it automatically. So if you look, um, and I'll just, well, yeah, actually, I, it's not ready to go yet, so I really don't want to show it yet. But we're, we're really interested in wanting to do everything automatically as much as possible. Um, I also have a, a pay-per-click campaign going with a software company that's helping me do that, and I can give you more information about that. If you want, you can uh, send me a note about it, and I'll give it to you. Um, I, need to, I didn't even talk to them about this, so I don't want to get them bombarded yet, but I'm happy to share with you who they are if you want to, and I know that we're getting some business off of that. Uh, and it's it really, you know, starting, we're in the process now of trying to track where everything's coming from, but I know based on where the money's going and the advertising areas that I'm going. So if I could give you any advice, what I would highly suggest is that if you're going to do this, you really, really want to get specific and follow in a niche. Don't try to capture and put an entire net over the entire city of Scottsdale. You really want to do more of a small niche thing instead, or a couple, two or three different niches. Because if you don't do that, you're wasting your money trying to spread it out over a whole bunch. So if you, like I live in Dove Valley Ranch up in Cape Creek. So I am pounding Cape Creek right now because I want people to come and where I live here, it's easy, you know? And so everything I'm doing is going to be in the Cape Creek area right now until I move. But um, right now that's, that's the goal. And Desert Ridge is one of those. So, uh, Basically, you know, I just post them on Facebook, believe it or not, and you can boost your ads over there. Um, we have a business page, so, you know, if I go to my business page, you can go in there and see, uh, if I can find it, um, shouldn't be advertising all this stuff, but uh, if I go to my business page, you'll be able to see, you know, ads and things that we've posted here. So here's one, for instance, I, I posted this. This is directly off of the Phoenix map from our website. And then I took this thing and I boosted it. So if you click boost, you can pay to advertise on Facebook and you'll show up in the advertising, you know, um, within there. And it's amazing the power. I did this with that listing tool and the power that, that came from that. Um, and it, it all just comes in and automates pretty much and I'm told when things are happening, which is really cool. And I get notices from LionDesk too. Um, I get a text and an email every time a new lead comes in, so I'm never going to be short. Uh, and I've got a team that we assign the leads out to, so LionDesk actually works really well with teams because I can assign the leads out to my agents and I don't have to be worried about somebody helping them out, so that, that's good. But this thing is the way to go. I just came and published it you know, on my business page, and then I boosted it. And so then right now I'm paying for an ad to do that, and it's producing business. So, and it's a cheap way to do it. I mean, we're so fortunate. We're so fortunate right now to have Facebook. I sure hope it, I sure hope it stays like that. <laughs> you know, I think, it, I think you boost the post for a dollar still. So. What's that? I, I, does Facebook still let you boost for a dollar, or is it five dollars now? And it's cheap. Yeah. It's crazy. I think I heard it was five bucks. Okay, yeah, it used to be heard, a buck. So um, anyway, yeah, I mean, I, I could go on and on and on, but we, let's do that in a personal class. And I think uh, if it, Dave and I were talking we are, about We are going to have a date for that we thought we haven't worked out now. We, we don't, but uh, we've got your emails and you'll get a notification when the live class will be probably in the next three, two to three weeks. Right. So the, um, the other thing I just really quick before we get done here is I, I because I promised to do this, I told Dave I would do this, is give you the five must-do steps of sex, successful lead conversion. And, and this is from having dealt with thousands and thousands of sales, <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of sales. By the way, I always hate to admit this, but knowing what I've done in my career, and I've had my license since 04. I, I am a broker now, too, and I own my own brokerage, but at one point, not anymore. Um, I now have a, have a team of 30 agents that work for me. But uh, in my own experience, doing this is tried and true. If you get it all set up and you do it in a manner that is automated as much as possible, I mean, there's no excuse for not picking up the phone. Absolutely none. If the lead comes in and there's a phone number, you got to call them. And if you can't reach them, text them. And guess what? You got the tools to do that. You got an email. You, the email, you don't even have to write. It's already written. You can go in there and write all the stuff you want. 
full listing notifications, automated, automated, engaging drip campaigns, automated. And then the follow-up, I mean, you got to respond fast. We've got the tools to be able to know when a lead comes in and somebody is asking us questions. And then the follow-up, I mean, it's so simple. Pick up the phone and call them. If they're asking for help, call them back. It, pick up your phone, people. That is the biggest key people have about us as real estate agents. Um, as I sit here and watch my phone ring, <laughs> I can't pick it up. But you gotta have a backup plan, right? Have a backup plan. We actually have a, a line that goes in and I've got two or three people that pick the line up if I can't, so that's good. You need to have that. Um, but the great thing is, is that you will see that all of the tools that I just showed you, every one of these steps, helps you along the way and can automate a good portion of this stuff that it makes it look like you're really physically doing it. So I know we're running out of time, so I don't, I want to make sure we have time for stuff. So any other questions on any of that? Okay. Nope. Dave. Okay. Uh, all right. No, no, I don't see nobody. Nobody. We're good on the board here. All right, so we've got a couple more well, minutes left. Do you have any more? Do you have any other slides you wanted to cover? Well, I've got this slide on. Yeah, that's the one you provided. So, what do you think? Uh, that we just well, you, you just showed us how to do that, so we, I think we're good on that one. So let's go to the next. Right, and I, I guess we should hit home, hit home really quick. Is that the tool also allows you to send closed listings? Right. And how important that is if you've got a closed client, because wouldn't they love to see what's going on in their market? what's going on there. Or if you're trying to market to a seller, you can do the same thing. If you're getting seller leads and you actually have an email, you can send them all listing notifications directly out of your site. And what's great about that is when those emails go out and they click on your email, the link in there, it takes them back to your site. They're not going to the MLS necessarily, and you don't need them to because that's not doing you any good. It's, it, you want your site to get some Google juice, right? So these that, are, the, the, the sold search is, I mean, that's something you set up once. You never have to set that up again. So once you once you have a buyer that's now, you've sold a house to them, guess what? Set up that automatic recurring drip campaign of solds. I mean, I'm not moving for 10 years, but I, I always look at, I always want to know what the house that just went up on the market is for. What did that one sell? I, I want to know. So rather than someone get that information from somebody else's website or postcard, you know, you got to train them where they need to go for that information, and you're sending it to them. Uh, you only have to set that up one time. That, that's 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 awesome. That's an awesome touch point. Right. And uh, yeah, and then the following up. I mean, this is obvious. This is something Dave gave in here, but uh, you got this the follow up. That's an agent I, I I covered him just to protect the the guilty, so to speak. But I mean, that isn't that isn't that a tell? Could have had more sales, didn't follow up. I mean, from what Patty just showed you, it would have taken a few minutes. Who knows what that what that would be worth? Right. And here's just a few statistics that is pretty well known. I mean, you you cannot expect someone coming in and one contact with them to make to make a sale. In most cases, it's not going to be <clears throat> so you might want to just uh, make a note of how many contacts you need to make. And here we're saying the fifth to twelfth contact, it will be the eighty percent of sales. But guess what? Your contacts are all automated, so you're you're making except for the calls, obviously. But you can actually go into Lion Desk and set up a drip campaign for your texts, which is so cool. That's part of our campaign. So we're sending out texts uh, throughout our process if we haven't heard from them. So we use the drip campaign more for um, the, just to get them engaged with us more than anything else. So, but this is a telltale sign right here. So, um, and then here's some target ideas that Dave gave for targeting on Facebook, things you could do. Just really focus on a niche is the key. Yep. So you get an idea there. Okay, take it away, Dave.